Well, Stuart, you watched Salmon at Levenston. What did you think? Well, it was almost three hours of the most gripping viewing I can remember. Um, it was hard to leave it alone. It was like, it wasn't car crash television, and it wasn't television, I was watching it on the computer. But because uh, there was little that Salmon could do to be better, or be good, or should we say, it was a case of watching him, expecting him to make some mistake that would be devastating. Be seemed, seized upon about his opponents. It seemed to be the impression everybody was was aware that it was going to be his mistake that did it, rather than him being tripped up by the QC. He def well, I mean, the QC, Mr. J, did. He asked two or three questions around uh, the difficult area, which was, of course, the suggestion that uh, there was a, at least a you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. Um, I'll make these phone calls to Jeremy Hunt on your behalf about this B Sky B bid. You'll back me in the Scottish Sun, which is the suggestion. Of course, it never came out quite as clear as that. Nothing was quite as clear as that. But there were a couple of minutes, two or three minutes, perhaps you or I would have asked a penetrating question at that point because we've probably watched hours in total over the years of Alex Hammond under questioning. And uh, whereas Mr. J, although he's wonderful, I'm sure he's a great QC, didn't know Mr. Salmon. And to be honest, Mr. Salmon was the minor player in this week's pantheon of stars appearing at, Pe at Leveson. So I doubt that Mr. J was that well prepared or that well worried or bothered, should we say, about eking out what perhaps a, a, another politician might try and find that would be a, a soundbite at the very least. So is there going to be fallout for Alex Hammond? I mean, we watched... Judging by FMQs today, no. Um, and I have to say, as I was watching it yesterday, I had the Twitter line running, and it was interesting that the so-called um, professional journalists that comment on, on behalf of the media in Scotland, I'm not going to name names here, um, who would normally they pretend to be impartial were enjoying a game of surreal tweet tweets imaginary things that could be said or done and you're left wondering well how much if you were playing this game for two and a half hours when did you find time to take notes um whatever you wrote last night for today's papers how accurate is it that's all I can say on that subject. I wasn't impressed. The, the Twitter, the great thing, one of the great things about Twitter is that the, the mainstream media does not filter what we, the public, get to hear and see. It's immediate. And also Twitter, you get it from so many different directions simultaneously. So you can't get closer to the truth about a story. So the tw Twitter at think Alex performed well? Oh, amazing. He, he, he went to floor with uh, any suggestion from the Labour Party that he, he was in the wrong. And I was very surprised that they kept, that John Lamont kept picking away at, picking away at that scab today at FMQs. Okay, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you.